I love it. I love it too. And this I is your it. community. Yes. How long has this been here for? I've been here, how long this been here? Uh huh. This has been here now for about, I would say, eight, seven, eight years now. Wow. And uh, I've been in the neighborhood here for about 25. 25? Yeah. Now, could you remember the community before this garden? Yeah, I did. A bunch of, all this area here on the west side of the street here was just a bunch of houses that, and then as the people moved out and, and someone was left there to be repaired or, or a couple of them burned down and, so this start this uh, hive here took over that and, and they built a beautiful thing. I oh. wanna know what y'all think. Is that something community would how would it be different? What y'all think? Um I definitely think uh people's community market. I think it would definitely be an opportunity for people. Um mm -hmm. so people that don't have a space to uh, you know, take that initiative to, you know, own something or have something of theirs to, you know, um, do something. You know, if people don't have that opportunity, then there's no way to really, you know, see how it will go. Definitely. Uh, <clears throat> you know, that's, I would say that's the biggest, as we look at surveys from this area on Truce to Cleaver and even further, really, um, it's kind of a drought of grocery stores. There's no, there's no access to good foods or produce or anything like you got gas stations you got a few smaller places um save a lot mm -hmm. is the only grocery store actually the mm -hmm. only one within that entire frame that's a that's a five mile radius okay. how do you think your community would benefit from an innovative market in a lot of different ways i mean providing affordable food to people who need it in a place like this is a uh, very uh, crucial i think to the development of the society and the future of you know casey as a whole um, for a long time, this area has kind of been a dividing point between two sections of the city, two different sides of the city. And I think opening stuff like this will just kind of bridge that gap. Um, you know, create some equity between people within our community as a whole. All right, so one thing I think it'll bring, it'll bring unity. Um, we'll, we'll be seeing our neighbors every week. <laughs> We'll be kicking it, uh, especially if it, if the market has a, a place to lounge or a place to have events. Uh, it'll bring the community together. It, it, it'll be that unity in the community. The event space that we have is affordable for people to have events, positive events. And I think that's one of the biggest things that people, our people need to see mm -hmm. in the community that they live in is, hey, adults having positive fun. For my mother, that was the only place that she was allowed to go to the day that was a movie theater. Really? It was the only black movie theater that blacks were allowed to go to. And that was your mother? That was my mother and my grandma. So these markets are owned by the community and they're shared by the community. They're resourced by the community and they benefit the community directly through dividends and through paying for new services. Do you think your community could benefit from this resource? Can you reimagine your community with an innovative neighborhood market? You know what? I could, and I think it'll be better. These apartments that are uh, having stores underneath them is a convenience. It's a convenience, and I'm noticing that they are uh, healthy stores. Healthy stores that's having um, good outcomes. Hopefully, they could be a little cheaper. Mm -hmm. I could. I think it would only do well in certain parts of the city definitely have quality but if you think about where dollar stores are created things like that that tends to be on the east side of kansas city i think we could handle something else um i'm just not sure if like people say all the time that they want to see like a whole foods um because for them they want quality right they think about a whole foods but a whole foods like the nickname whole paycheck it's a thing it's a thing so you know i think that this is nice I think that, um, you know, Kansas City not being as dense of a market and having a different structure, um, it may be a little bit challenging. And then, like I said, just thinking about, you know, who can comfortably afford these things in the store is critical. Okay. Now, if you want to come along and build a green market that's sustainable, that's cooperative, locally owned, you can't just only focus on the market you're gonna have to focus on community building you have to focus on all these other issues because those are the issues that allow a dollar general to exist so that's an extractive economy that's just taking money out of the community 
if you want to change the dynamic of a market, you can't. Ha you have to put Dollar General out of business because they are literally taking money out of your community. Or what do you think your community would be like with innovative neighborhood markets? I mean, I I think our I think our community would be much better served um, by having a market like this, right? These markets are they're mixed use. They're mixed. Um, they have different, you know, purposes. They're zoned differently, and I think they would be much more um, uh, inclusive and welcoming. I think we would be uh, far less insular. So we are literally sitting across the street from a Whole Foods, um, and while hey, you know, it's fine, whatever. Um, you know, what can we do? It would be more connective to the communities that are immediately surround us and not a Whole Foods. I think more importantly, it's not what my neighborhood would look like if it had this, but what does my neighborhood have to be to get one of these? Because we can support a uh, market like this. We can help provide the base and the foot traffic for a market like this. Uh, and we should be willing to do it. And we should be willing to do it in our neighborhood uh, as opposed to forcing you know, all of our city's problems on certain communities and making them solve for systemic issues by themselves. This is Candy's Market, okay? This is the market right here, okay? You can check out their QR code, you can check out their prices on everything, but these are in different markets throughout the city of Kansas City, Missouri. So rather than having one market that you invest in and hope everybody goes there, these are in all kinds of markets throughout the city. And what this allows is fresh access to fresh food that people don't have access to in a corner store, in a gas station, in your bodega, whatever you got. So this is my answer to your question about markets. We need more spots like Canvas. Canvas is a nonprofit organization that focuses on on uh, food deserts like ours. Uh, there is no like a big, a lot of a uh, uh, place where you can go buy groceries. So that's where Canvas come in. Uh, and then the way they do it is like they go work, they work by donations. So that's why their products is usually like cheaper than most places, which is nice. You can grab a banana, you can grab a potato, you can grab an apple, you can grab anything from them that they have available. And their price is always lower than most places. You know, and what the good thing about it is like what they don't sell. Uh, because, for example, banana will be bad. They don't, they don't throw it away. They either donate it to another organization that will use it right away, or they compose it. So it's not waste. They, they, they try to do like a good job of either selling it or making sure the product gets being used, put in a good cost. These are the opinions of Stephen Anthony and not of the <laughs> EDC of Kansas City, Missouri. <laughs> I have to give that disclaimer. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, this is, these are things that are put together by by super smart individuals who may not be as connected to the community as they as they should and and and, and i'm sure in most cases are very well intentioned um but in order for a community to truly thrive utilizing any of these concepts the community would first need to be educated the community itself would would need to have um, folks that are part of the community that are that are very well versed in these types of concepts who then can speak in a language that those individuals and in, within those communities can understand. I think it's because my community um, is ignorant to the knowledge. So that's where I step in at and I am here and I'm open and I am ready to enlighten my folks. You know, it's not a, no, it won't work. It's more of a, let's be intentional about how we go about the work so that it can have the impact that we, that we would hope for. That's what I think when I, when I see these, these things brought about.